In this class we draw t-shirt. So first I make changes in the fill and outline color. By default fill color is white and outline color is black. But we did not need any color in the fill. So I click on the no color icon. And you can change outline color. But I choose this default color. Now I choose pen tool and this tool available here. By right click on this tool you can expand other tool in this group and keyboard shortcut is P and by clicking on this small arrow you can detach this tool from the tool menu and then place anywhere in the artboard. So it's easy to access other tool in this group. If you are not able to access all these tool click on this three dot when you click on this a new flyout is display here and then click on this hamburger icon and choose advanced from here by default basic is selected here so less tool is applied on this toolbar if you choose advanced so you can access all the tools now I click outside to close this panel and you can set these tool in single row or double row by clicking on this small arrow okay now I choose pen tool and start drawing first I zoom little bit for zoom you can use zoom tool by clicking on this you can zoom in or zoom out by click and drag on the screen and you can also zoom in or zoom out by keyboard shortcut so by pressing alt key and then press scroll wheel you can zoom in or zoom out and second helping tool is spacebar by clicking on the spacebar you can activate hand tool for temporary basis and hand tool is available here keyboard shortcut is H so I zoom little bit and place in the center and then start drawing by using pen tool so I click on this now I start from this point so I click on the first point then second point and this point indicate a curvature here so first I create a point here and then provide curvature fourth point and then exit at this position so I click on and then press escape key to exit now I switch to selection tool by clicking on this arrow icon and keyboard shortcut is V first I deselect this path or stroke and then select this again half part of this t-shirt is created now I make a duplicate copy in the left side you can create this by using reflect tool this tool available here or you can also create by using copy and paste method first I show you how you can use reflect tool so first select this stroke and then select this reflect tool and then press alt or option key and then click on this center line you can click anywhere a new flyout is display here and here you can choose vertical radio button and then click on the copy so a duplicate copy of this path is created in the left direction. Now I switch to selection tool by clicking on this icon or you can use keyboard shortcut also. Now I deselect first and create a connection between these two paths. So select both curve and then right click and choose join. When you click on the join a connection is created here and then right click again for this bottom joint right click and choose join so this bottom point is also connected now I switch to pen tool by clicking on this icon and create point here and here for providing curvature first I create a point here when you hover your mouse nearby this path so a aster icon is display in the bottom of this tool but when you hover your mouse on the curve this icon convert into plus icon and then click on this point to add a point and then use mouse key to move in the downside okay and same as I create a point here when this plus icon display and then move by using down arrow key little bit okay then switch to convert anchor point tool and by using this tool you can provide curvature so I click on this and then click on this point and then drag 
so a curvature is created sometime you twist in the opposite direction so it's look like this so choose correct direction same as i create curvature on this point so i click and then move in the left side a curvature is created and same as i create curvature on these points click and drag in the bottom direction this time i move up direction okay curvature is created now i switch to selection tool and deselect first now i create shape to indicate the back of this t-shirt so first i switch to direct selection tool by clicking on this white color arrow and this tool used to select the nodes like this point or the curvature so first i select this node by clicking on this or by click and drag and create a window selection this point is selected if you copy and paste so connected segment also copy and paste i show you so press ctrl c or command c for copy and then press ctrl or command v for paste so it's placed here and it's not useful for us because we have to place on the same position so first i delete this by pressing delete key and then show you second keyboard shortcut select this point again and then press ctrl or command c to copy and then press ctrl f or command f in paste in front and this keyboard available here in the edit menu paste in front and keyboard shortcut is ctrl or command f so i press ctrl c again and then press command f or ctrl f for paste in place two curve is placed on the same position now i join these two points so i right click and choose join tool so a connection is created between these two point now i create a point here and then create a curve so i choose pen tool and then click on this center line when plus icon is display so a point is created by using down arrow key you can move this point in the down direction and then choose convert anchor point tool and create a curvature i move in the left direction okay curvature is created now i switch to selection tool now i fill this shape with the gray color because gray color used to indicate the back part of the dress so i click on the fill icon and choose gray color i choose this light gray color okay and then deselect first with the same step i create the shape i create sleeves so first i switch to direct selection tool and then select this point and then copy by pressing ctrl c or command c and then paste in front by command f or ctrl f so a shape is created now i join first so i right click and choose join tool so connection is created now i add two point and then place here so i choose pen tool first point and second point then i switch to direct selection tool because this tool used to select nodes so i click here and then place okay you can move segment or points by using direct selection tool so it's very useful same as i create sleeve here also so first i select this point ctrl c ctrl f right click and choose join tool and add two point okay i think point is not created so i click okay point is add now now i switch to direct selection tool and move these points in the same position okay so sleeves also created now i zoom out and select all the shape and then right click and create a group and create a duplicate copy in the left side by pressing alt and then drag 
so duplicate copy is created now i make some changes in this t-shirt to show the back of this t-shirt so first i select this and then double click on this shape so now you are in the editing mode of this group you can see here and you can select any shape now i merge these two shapes so select by window selection and then click on this unite icon in the pathfinder so these two shapes merge now and choose white color in the fill and then click on this arrow to exit from the editing mode or you can also double click outside on the artboard now i add a stitching line in this area and for this neck so first i select this shape or t-shirt and then right click and choose ungroup deselect first then select the direct selection tool and select this node copy paste in front so two duplicate copy of this curve is created on the same position then move up by using up arrow okay now i apply a dash line on this curve so i click on the stroke and check dash line checkbox and change the value here i choose two point and two point four gap stroke width is very high so i choose 0.25 in the stroke width first i deselect this and then show you so it look like a stitching line same as i apply stitching here so by using direct selection tool select this curve ctrl c ctrl f and then move upside by using up arrow or move little bit in the left side because it's in a angle and then click on the stroke click on the dash line checkbox and okay these value is default now same as i select this one also ctrl c ctrl f move upside and move little bit in the right side apply dash line okay so dash line is applied in this area but in this area creating dash line is little bit tricky so first i select this shape and then select this point ctrl c ctrl f okay and then switch to selection tool first i move this in the down by down arrow and then press alt key and then click on this center point and then move in the right side so it will move in the both direction okay and then move little bit upside so this will overlap and then move little bit outside okay now gap is equal now i apply a stitching line dash line okay so dash line creation is complete same as i apply dash line here this shape is filled with white color so click on the none okay and then make some changes same as we apply here okay A stitching line creation is complete now i off this reference image so i go to layer tab and then off this layer by clicking on the i button i hope you learned how to draw t-shirt this one is very basic 